Yo, all right, lads. So today we're going to be doing our Australian squad builder. As you can see on screen, we are using the 4411 formation. Before we start, though, please smash a like if you do enjoy the video, and please subscribe to the channel if you're new as well. We do try and do the most in-depth squad builders as we can on YouTube. So let's go. Starting the net, we have team of the season Ryan. He's six foot tall, right footed. He's got a four star weak foot, and of course, only a one star skill. Looking at those card stats, he stand out to his 85 reflexes, 84 handling, and 83 positioning. Moving into our defence at left back, we have Davidson, he's 5 foot 11 tall, he's left footed, he's got medium medium work rates, 2 star weak foot and 2 star skills. Looking at his in games, he stands out to 82 crossing, 78 acceleration, 73 stamina, 72 sprint speed and 72 aggression. Next up, our first centre back is Reese Williams, he's 6 foot 1 tall, right footed, he's got medium high work rates, a 4 star weak foot and 2 star skills. Looking at his in games, he stands out to 78 shot power, 75 strength, 74 stamina, 74 reactions and 74 short pass. And his centre back partner, we have man of the match, Trent Sainsbury. He's six foot tall, right footed, he's got medium medium work rates, a four star weak foot and two star skills. Looking at his in games, he stands out to 83 strength, 78 stamina, 78 sprint speed, 78 jumping and 76 interceptions. Rounding off our defence, at right we have Frangic. He's five foot ten tall, right footed, he's got high medium work Work rates, two star week four and three star skills. Looking at his in game standout, so he's 80 stamina, 76 acceleration, 76 sprint speed, 70 strength, and 70 jumping. Now up into our midfield. First up on the left, we have Hero Lecky. He's five foot eleven tall, right footed, he's got high medium work rates, a four star week four and three star skills. Looking at his in games, he stand out to so 92 acceleration, 91 sprint speed, 85 stamina, 84 jumping, and 83 balance. Next up into our pair of centre mids, first is Yedinak, he's 6 foot 2 tall, right footed, he's got medium high work rate, 3 star weak foot and 2 star skills. Looking at his in games, he stands out to 85 aggression, 84 strength, 83 interceptions, 80 stand tackle and 79 shot power. And his centre mid partner was Hero Milligan, he's 5 foot 10 tall, right footed, he's got medium high work rate, 3 star weak foot and 2 star skills. Looking at his in games, he stands out to 86 stamina, 78 penalty, 78 stand tackle, 78 jumping and 76 slide tackle and rounding off the midfield on the right side is Robbie Cruiser he's 5 foot 10 tall right foot he's got high medium work rates a 2 star weak foot and 4 star skills looking at his in games he stands out to his 85 acceleration 84 agility 83 sprint speed 78 dribbling and 77 stamina now moving up into our forwards, first up at centre forward we have man of the match Timmy Cahill, looking at his in games he stands out with 99 jumping, 96 aggression, 95 heading, 89 reactions and 88 attack positioning. And finishing off the team at striker, we have hero Nathan Burns, 5 foot 8 tall, right footed, got high low work rates, a 4 star weak foot, and 3 star skills. Looking at his in games, he stands out with 90 balance, 87 jumping, 86 acceleration, 83 sprint speed, and 80 aggression. So that rounds off the initial look at the Aussie team. Now we're going to be moving on to the gameplay. Starting in net with Team of the Season Ryan. Now it was quality for me in between the sticks. Made some brilliant stops. Great quick reactions on him. Does have some great reflexes and amazing speed as well. He does actually rank number one in the game for the speed stat in the keepers. So cracking, cracking keeper. Highly recommended you do try Ryan. Now moving into our defence at left back with Davidson. Now he's not the fastest left back in the world, but he did actually do a solid job defensively. Did manage to get trapped by dispossessed some uh, attackers. Decent medium medium work rates, which I do like on a fullback as well. And he did actually manage to get up the pitch and notch two assists as well from left back. So can't complain. Did do a really solid job at left back. On the opposite side, at right back, we have Frangic. Again, was lacking in that pace department. Really did get outstripped for pace sometimes down that wing. But does have decent uh, all-round stats. And he did also manage to get up the pitch and grab an assist as well. Both are uh, pretty decent bargains. Can be both get for a, a few hundred coins. Now into our centre-back pairing with Williams and Sainsbury. Williams was decent, did have a good medium-high work rate, but he does have only average really defensive stats. Didn't do a bad job in defence, but really it was man of the match Sainsbury who was the star man in defence. Good pace, passing and defensive stats on him. He was making the most challenges at the back. He seemed to be everywhere at the back, getting stuck in, interceptions, tackling, all the dirty stuff at the back. And he was solid at bringing the ball up out a defence as well, probably the best Aussie centre-back in FIFA 15. 
Now into our midfielders, starting in the middle with Yedinak, was solid defensively, does have his good medium high work rates, great for defensive wise, great strength on him as well, did actually manage to pop up with two goals as well, despite his uh, average shooting, really poor finishing, but still managed to get him in, not the fastest player and not the most agile player, but he did cope well at CEM and he did actually notch five assists as well, so great creative player as well. Next to him was Hero Milligan, who was also great defensively, another one with medium high work rates so you've got two solid uh, defensive minded midfielders holding the, the four in the middle now we didn't manage a goal from open play but he was on penalties so we did manage to bang in five penalties did actually also grab four assists so both uh, centre midfielders great defensively and great creatively as well at left mid we have Hero Lecky, was really fast, great pace down that left wing and he did actually manage to grab an impressive four goals from left midfield which is no mean feat, great dribbler, decent finisher as well, does have some good high medium work rates on him so that was good at him getting down that left mid, getting him overlapping, tucking in to just receive the pass, get through on goal and finish, great uh, left midfielder, highly recommended you try Hero Lecky if you can find him. On the opposite wing was Robbie Cruiser. Now, we didn't really make as much as impact as Hero Lecky. Did only manage this single effort. Decent goal nonetheless, but that was his really only bright point in the games we played. Does have that awkward two-star weak foot as well. So, he is right-footed. So, it is a bit awkward cutting in uh, getting on that weak foot. And now onto our front two. At centre forward, we have man of the match, Tim Cahill, who was actually our star man of the team, was amazing in that centre forward role. And like his stats suggest, was awesome in the air. With that 99 jumping and 95 heading, he was just banging in the headers for fun. And despite actually that 70 finishing stat, can actually bang him in with his feet as well. Did perform well above than his stats suggest. Really, really love using Tim Cahill. If you can find him, I know he was really, really expensive at the beginning. He has dropped a lot now, but if you can find me, he's really, really hard to find on the market. Was actually our top scorer with 18-10. Awesome performance from man on a match, Tim Cahill. And at striker, we have Hero Burns, another quality player. Does have that great position swap into the striker. Did run Cahill close win the scoring department with 7 in 10, but he does have great pace, great high-low work rates as well, perfect for a forward, always pushing forward, that is what you want with your forwards. If you do want a more in-depth look at Hero Burns, we do actually have a review on him uh, as well on the channel if you want to check that out. Now, not the best shooting stats on him, but he still can get the goals, still did tuck him away. So not actually all that bad a uh, striker. Does have some decent jumping on him to make up for his height as well. So that finishes the look at our Aussie team. Surprisingly good underrated team to use. Now it is a bit lacking defensive wise and in the pace department across the back four. But still is a nice team to try if you're looking for an underused nation. Obviously FIFA 15, not a lot of people are playing at the minute. It is getting boring. It's time to try out those different nations. Have a laugh. Try a team that you don't normally would try. So we do like to show you as much information as we can. So here's a stat breakdown of our Aussie squad. So we did play 10 games, won 7, drew 0 and lost 3. Our star man was man of the match Cahill. Total goal scored was 27, conceded was 13, top scorer was Cahill with 8, most assists was Yedinak with 5. And all the stat averages of the players are all on the right hand side for you to have a look at now. So finally, we're just going to leave you with a squad rundown of all our Australian players, all the appearances and goals, etc. So you can see how every single player on the team performed, even the substitutes as well. So hopefully you did like this review. Please smash a like if you did enjoy it. And please subscribe to the channel. We do try and do the most in-depth videos on YouTube. Loads more to check out on our channel and loads more to come. We're going to be doing loads of FIFA 16 content when it comes out as well. So stay tuned for that. Thanks a lot for watching, lads. I really do appreciate y'all. Cheers, lads. See you later.